have new information about the man responsible for killing Douglas County Deputy Zach Parrish. Uh, Denver's uh, seventh Jennifer Kovaleski spent the day digging through the latest information just released by the sheriff. Jen, uh, clearly the gunman here, uh, Matthew Real, left a trail of red flags before this ambush. Shannon and a lot of red flags, and the incident report gives us a bigger picture, confirming deputies knew Real had access to weapons hours before the ambush attack, and strange emails sent to his financial advisor further paint a picture of a man mentally unraveling. You're watching Douglas County deputies first interaction with the gunman. Hi, Sergeant Bauer, Sheriff's Office. Sergeant Brock Bauer, Sheriff's Department. No, sir, I was here to do a welfare check. The man you hear behind the door is shooter Matthew Real. Just making sure you're OK, that's all. All right, goodbye. A welfare check in early November, more than a month before the tragic New Year's Eve shooting that took Deputy Zach Parrish's life. I'm the director of security for Charles Schwab and Laundry. In the last 24 hours, we've learned this string of bizarre emails. Real sent to his financial advisor is what led deputies to knock on his door. Very strange, like almost incoherent emails. Upset his account had been locked. Real wrote things like, is a low IQ person with a big hedge freaking out today? I see it everywhere. Things are getting too predictable. Planned biannual chaos. The subject of another email. Lone Tree Munis. Wiping them out. Then we may be dealing with a bigger issue. And I, you know, I just want to make sure our employees protected. The emails paint a picture of a man mentally breaking down and even prompted Charles Schwab to ask for stepped up security. Let's back off this door in case you guys get a gun. We've also learned before the deadly ambush, deputies knew Real had access to weapons. When the first call came in at 3 a.m. on New Year's Eve. Two hours later, when deputies were called back again, they made the decision to go inside the apartment minutes before Deputy Parrish was gunned down. Sheriff's Office! Now, after all this has come out, it just further tells the story of a man in crisis and the real struggles that officers face with mental illness. I'm Jennifer Kovaleski for Denver 7.